Okay. That was an insane thing for us to do. Oh! Okay, good news. I have the doorman's key, so no one will be able to come after us. Let's just try to... Your key is ringing. I have a question for you. Are you out of your damn mind? Your Honor, look at it from my point of view. I have never been this angry in my life, which is the age of the universe. I understand, but saving the souls of these four humans is more important, so we're not coming back until we do. Oh, don't you even try coming back here, because when you walk through that door, I am going to be waiting for you. Sorry, Judge, I think you're breaking up. That's impossible. It's a magical key, you dick. What are you doing? I can see you. This is perfect. We're right near Chidi's office, and as far as I can tell, the whole floor is abandoned. What, what do they use it for? Storage? No, this is the journalism department. Huh, bad for the world. Good for us. So, somehow, with none of our powers, we have to keep the group intact and monitor their ethical progress. So how, how do we do that? Not sure. There's no way to track people's actual point totals. Only the accountants have that information. But I did install cameras and microphones, so at least we can keep our eye on them. Let's get peeping. Oh. oh, no. Not a great start. Eleanor farted, and then she blamed it on her chair. That's going to cost her at least a few points. There's a bolt missing or something. Before we begin, Trevor is dropping out of the study. He sent me an email last night. I'm sad to inform you that I am too ugly and stupid to be in the study, and I'm going home to my mommy. That was me. I wrote that email. too bad, but we press on. We're on to stage two of the study. I'm going to teach you some philosophical principles, and then we will explore how those ideas have affected your personal moral machineries. Sorry, I don't know. Did you say something? No, it's my chair. It's got this weird design. Your chair smells bad. I know. See? Another person who agrees it's the chair. 